What skills are you working on right now to become better at your job? Well, I'll tell you, it, it seems funny, but I'm, I'm working on posture for starters. And that sounds ridiculous, but I realize that I'm a much more attentive uh, person at my, at my, in my workspace if I'm sitting up straight. I got a stand-up desk, you know, the kind that go up and down. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, and I actually feel like it's helping me be more productive. The stand-up desk has been fun because right at a time when my body's starting to fall apart, you know, I'm approaching 42 years old, uh, I have a, a bad shoulder, I have some other issues, you know, uh, I don't know, some, some soreness here and there that you start to get as you get older. And I realized that, you know, when I'm standing, I actually feel like my, my body is engaged. You know, my legs, my, all my muscles are, are engaged in, in the act of, you know, performing in my workspace. So typing or talking on the phone, anything like that, I'm actually engaged instead of feeling very slothful in my bad posture of being kicked back and maybe with my legs crossed in my in the chair, you know, that I was at. I don't stand the whole day. I have st stood the whole day one time, and that was kind of interesting. But uh, uh, I, I'll go up and down. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go up and down and, and uh, try different positions. Um, and it's been fun. You know, it really has been an interesting way, and I feel like my mind is really engaged. Um, but those skills, you know, those get me through the um, physical act of being productive throughout the day. The one skill that I think I'm practicing more and more as I move into my 40s, patience. I'm really practicing patience. And patience is a wonderful skill and a wonderful trait uh, to have. And I don't always have it, but I find myself feeling a little bit more patient and a little bit more positive every day. And I was talking with someone recently and I described them as this, and this is the kind of person I would like to be. He, I told him, I said, you're the kind of guy that when, if I told you I got in a car wreck, nobody was hurt, everybody was okay, but the car was wrecked, that this guy would look at me and say, well, I guess it's time for that new car. And I, I want to be that guy. How neat would it be to be able to say that instead of mulling about and feeling terrible for days on end or weeks on end? You know, it's just a car. Hey, guess it's time for a new car. And you know what? Every time you do get a new car, you feel pretty good about it. So what the heck? 